So you've landed on this video because you're having problems connecting your mini boxes with Sky Q to your main two terabit box. This is Sky Q, the know-how video to get a good connection all around the house. Now, it was really frustrating. We recently moved house. Uh, we have four mini boxes working off our main two terabit UHD box. And the story really starts in the kitchen because stupidly, that is where our main router is situated and it's miles away from where our living room is and that's where the main sky box is so this is the kitchen sky box with the terrible touch remote everybody's got one if you're an early adopter so as you can see i've got connection there i'm getting all the apps and stuff and sat behind this screen is my box it just sits there which obviously does block a bit of the signal because obviously it's working kind of on wi-fi connection it's not ethernet connected and that's the first step to this so as you can see Right now on that kitchen TV, if I scroll down on this horrible remote, you'll see I've got all the apps, uh, just back up to the apps there. It takes a little bit to load them um, because I've only just fired up this box, but you can see they're popping up and then it plays them and it doesn't buffer. You can see I've got a network connection. Now here's the key to this. I'm not connecting it directly to my router. I'm connecting it to a booster box which we got originally in our previous house. So if you see on my network connection there, uh, it's the Sky connection, which generally you get when you connect via a, a Sky broadband connection. This is working on BT. And you also get it when you connect via Ethernet. So, solid connection. Let me tell you the story and how I got this connection to work. So let's just work back to uh, my router. So my router situated in that cupboard there, which is miles away from the main sky box. So it's kind of in a labyrinth of, yeah, cables and stuff. Here's the booster box, which does sit in there on a permanent basis. I've got it out just to show you. Uh, this came with my original sky installation and then we kind of stopped using it because I thought that it was kind of getting in the way and uh, creating the mesh not so stable so I took it out of the mix and then in our previous house everything worked fine so what you do is you connect this box to your main router so ethernet out the box and then that goes into the back of your router so then you get a broadband connection so all these lights and by the way if you've already got it configured on your current network you've got a little reset button just at the back there and if you hit that reset button for a few seconds as you boot it up it will reset it to factory uh, factory settings which means the box is kind of ready for a fresh installation um, so what happens is first of all you get the power light obviously because you're connecting it to a mains then all of a sudden you will get a wireless light that will flash and then go solid green and then you'll get a connected light so that means that you're then connected to your broadband router that is step one you're creating then this sky kind of isolated five gigahertz kind of mesh network it's point number one until it starts flashing orange, okay? And when it starts flashing orange, you go to your first sky box. You wanna to go to your closest sky box. And the closest sky box is the kitchen for us. So what I then do is hit the same button on this box, which is situated on the mini box. I'll show you on another one, but if I can kind of just get down there, you can see it's kind of situated. I can get my finger in the mix here, there. And when you hit that, that'll flash orange for a little while and then it'll connect to the booster box. And that's where the story begins because that creates a connection then from the actual booster box to this box. You don't get a picture initially. Oh no, but it pairs. And you get that Sky 51 F32, might be different for you. Let's go to the next box now. I'll have a little jog through the house. I'll fast forward this bit. So, the story then continues in my daughter's bedroom. She has Sky Q as well. And then do the same on this box here. And then that will flash and then you'll get a pair. And then when that connects to the network, you will see in the settings that that has actually got a network connection as well. You won't get any Sky pictures just yet. That's the end goal but you'll see that she's connected to the Sky 51 F32, which is what we want. So we'll turn that one off. So that means you've got now, you're creating this mesh network via the booster box, via BT. Right, let's go again. 
Right, we also have a mini box in our games room. It creates, um, it handshakes, creates a mesh system. And as you can see, uh, this is already locked into the network, but you will get that connection in settings. You go across, connection, you'll get a tick. And that'll connect also, can you see there? <laughs> to that Sky Mesh 5 gigahertz network we're creating just for Sky Q. So now we've got a pair on that. On the mini box there, we're going back upstairs and there's a good reason for this. Sky mini box is there. And hopefully you will see that we've got a pair on the network here. So that will pair up here. Please wait. So you won't get the apps, you won't get a picture to begin with, but you will get that trusty network connection. There you go. So let's turn that box off. There we go. The final part of the story is actually down in the living room. So this is the main sky box in here. And generally with the main sky box, it would be perfect to have your broadband connection sitting right at the back of it and be able to make an ethernet connection. And that's how it works probably best for everybody that can hardwire it. We can't here because of the distance between the kitchen and the living room. There's the WPA button. So what you need to do now is go back to the kitchen on that original booster box, press the WPA button till it flashes orange. Do the same on this, that'll create a pairing. Uh, the signal will basically be boosted by the rest of the mesh network that you've created. And you can see, if I get the remote, that we've got a nice solid network connection right now on Sky Q. All the apps, all the networks, the 5G one that we've created, which is that one. And that is kind of it. Um, Sky Q can be an absolute nightmare. It really can. I'm going to just go to the, uh, the home screen here, right at the start. It can be an absolute nightmare to set up. And I had so many teething issues with getting Sky to work. Um, but in the end, we got there um, and it was persistent, really. We had two engineers come out. They had no idea. They were saying, got to drill out from the back of here and go around the house with a cable to the main broadband because we're BT broadband. And in the end, I thought, right, I wonder what that booster does. I wonder if I could create my own network. Did a little bit of research online, not a lot online actually to, to help me. So if you've got a booster box, that's what you're gonna to need to start with. And then if you've got mini boxes, you wanna pair them the closest one to the booster and then all the way round to Sky. So for us, it was the booster kitchen mini box uh, through the ceiling, which is thinner than walls, obviously. Uh, through the ceiling up to my daughter's room, then back down to the games room, then back up to the main master bedroom and then down into here, which is the main box. And now we have Flawless Sky Q. Any comments, just leave them below and I will try and assist you as best I can. And hopefully this video has gone some way to helping you with your dodgy Sky Q connection, because let me tell you, it's annoying, isn't it? You wake up first thing in the morning and, you know... You put Sky on, you just want to watch a bit of TV in bed as you're kind of coming around. Just one other thing to point out, which might help you, because I think it's helped my connection. If you go to settings here, in the settings menu here, you have in setup this little thing here called preferences. In preferences, this box is on standby mode at the moment. It's in eco. Click it to none, and that tends to not put your box into sleep mode at night time. Um, so if you put it to none, sometimes it resets itself. That's the that's the pain with Sky Q. Sometimes the box, you can turn Wi-Fi off on the box. The next day it's back on. You can turn that to Eco. Sometimes it's back on. So doing random checks on that, that's really going to help you. Um, and I just hope that you get the best experience with Sky Q. It can be frustrating, but if you just, you know, persevere with it, obviously when it works nice and works throughout the home, uh, there's nothing better on the market for me. Uh, comments below, guys, and thanks for watching. With the world.